Es sūtu sveicienas jums no Rīgas. My name is Helen. I am a textile designer and the owner of Art and Craft Workshop. This is exactly the place where hand-knitted mittens live. Well, of course, not only mittens. In this video, I will show what hand measurements should be taken into account in your future garment composition if you are knitting color work. I hope that this information will be useful not only for fresh beginners, but also for those who have been keen on knitting for a long time. By default, you knit the garment for yourself, and it would be quite easy to take measurements of your own hand. We need a regular standard A4 grid paper, a pencil and a measuring tape. First step, put your hand on the sheet and draw around the outline. Now let us spot the main levels. Number 2 is the pinky. Number 4 is the base of the thumb. Number 5 is the wrist bone. Number 6 is the length of your future mitten. So all vertical measurements can be easily calculated along the contour on the paper. For example, I use the measurements of my hand. This is size 8 gloves. Now let us follow the sketch. From number 1 to number 2 is the distance from the middle finger to the pinky. From number 1 to number 4 is the distance from the middle finger to the level of the base of the thumb. From number 1 to number 5 is the distance from the middle finger to the level of the bone on the wrist. From number 1 to number 6 is the distance from the middle finger to the edge of the mitten. In this case, I use the average length of 24 cm. If the garment has long and amply decorated cuff, such as ritual mittens do, then the length can be significantly longer. Number 7 is the size of the thumb at the level of the bone. Number 8 is the size of the palm above the level of the thumb. Number 9 is the size of the palm just below the level of the thumb. I draw your attention to the position of your thumb when you are taking measurements in that particular place. Number 10 is the size of the arm on the edge of the mitten. In this case, 18 cm is indicated. If the garment has long and amply decorated cuff, such as ritual mittens, then it is necessary to measure the size of the arm on the line of the start and the end of the calf to take into account the difference. All these measurements are extremely necessary if the garment is knitted with multicolor technique, since the fabric has a significantly different gauge and flexibility. In those cases when the hand has a significant difference between the widest part of the palm and the size of the wrist, I highly recommend using the gusset finger technique. Thus you can avoid additional calculations when building a composition of the whole garment, and the number of loops in the gusset thumb will add the required size at the widest point of the hand. You can find more information about the various techniques in the video tutorials describing the knitting process itself. The next step is working with the frame of the future pattern. As part of the program for individual tutorials, you have the opportunity to try your hand at constructing of pattern composition and selecting color combinations which would depend on the level of complexity in knitting techniques for the garment. And finally, the classic YouTube phrase, subscribe to my channel and put your thumbs up. This is your virtual and absolutely free gratitude for my work. I will also be grateful to your donation. The link to PayPal wallet is here in the description. Bye and see you later.